guys i'm done and it's raining i've decided to walk home i feel underprepared because i think for me i should have known a lot more about swedish language than i do but i don't anyway so we've got homework as well it's been an overwhelming day so today was my first day sfi it was amazing i met amazing people everybody was really helpful friendly one thing i wish i knew before i started sfi was to at least start studying words start learning the lingo start learning basic Dunk no not dankish sorry that's driven words like maybe humudu or vashugu or mikibra or it just learning those little little phrases because my teacher was literally speaking swedish and i was like huh? 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 i swear like even when she probably was talking to me it felt like it's not me she's talking to me like, huh? 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 where am i <laughs> i was expecting like english then then they speak swedish but no 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 she was just all out swedish and maybe she felt pity for us a little bit and then she said a little bit of english and then she carried on with swedish so she gave us this qr code thing to scan because we had to watch some videos on youtube this is the homework we were given to do and also today we were also given this days that we would attend sfi so it says the comet t sfi and it's mondag tisdag uch fridag so that's 8 15 to 11 45 and then we get fika pus which is coffee break 9 o 45 which is not eat one to for twi twi so that the break is 9 45 to 11 15. today it felt like latin so that was all we're giving so basically it's the days that we had to come to school and then apparently um on wednesdays and thursdays is when we go to the library i thought they said study from home study from home to me was lie on my sofa and watch netflix but apparently study from home is you have to go to the library we take it um unstag and um um two stack so you have to go there and um, i think there's some movies and stuff that you can go and educate yourself and it's full time and it's a one year course on sfi so we had to get to know each other because we had to actually talk about the person next to us so the stuff was actually written in swedish myself and one other lovely lady and then there was another lady that has been there i think she started in january so she was better than us so she had to like help us like try to like guide us through the questions so we had to get to know each other and then we had to write them down and then we had to present um i went to talk about the lady next to me i said jo comma at presentiere and I knew presentiere because every time on the TV he says programmer presentiere. <laughs> so they had to do is what is your name? So like what is the person's name? You say hon heta blah blah blah. So if it's a lady, it's hon, and if it's a man, it's han. Correct me if I'm wrong. I may be making mistakes. So please, please, please. This is just me. First day SFI. And I'm just giving it to you guys as I know it. And so bear with. So the next question was. Would her to do a full name? And you say. Hun Heta Sasha. Or Han Heta Frederick. And then when they say. Would her to do an after name? That's your last name is what is your last name and then you can then say Hun Eftenam Linsberg. So the next one is Vicket Land Comma Do E from. So that is Vicket is what land is country are you from? And then you can then say she is from England. So in Swedish is Hon are from England. Yeah, it's England. England is England. Oh, England is England. If it's a man, you say Han are from 
England. Vicus Parak Paladu is what languages do you speak? And then you can say Han Tala Ingliska. Or if you speak Polish, Poliska, I think that's what it is. If it's um, Arabic, Arabiska, maybe, I don't know. Han for women. Han Tala Ingleska is he speaks English. So the next question was, Vicket are did Modre small? Is what is your native tongue? And then the answer is, Henes Modre small are Ingleska. No come do Svaria. So when did you come to Sweden? Svaria, S-V-E-R-I-G-E is what they call Sweden, Svaria. And then you say, Hong come to Svaria for three mononda sindak. So she came to Sweden three months ago. So the next one is Vobudu, which is where do you live? So say for example, you live in... Vebistran, Hombo e Vebistran, right? If you're talking of the lady or the man, you say Hombo e Vebistran or Hanbo e Vebistran. Han for a man, Hon for a woman. And then the next question was, Humunga ahodu gat e skolen? So how many years have you gone to school? So say for example they've been to school for um 12 years it's 12 or i think a with the dot o and r 12 or that's all i know for now i don't know what 12 is in sweden i'm gonna have to start learning abc by myself and one two three who munga or how do good poor university elas hook scholar so that's how many years have you attended university or college? And you can then answer Kon Ek Pua Universitet E3 O. That's what I know so far. So she's been to university for or she she went to university for three years. And the next question is Verd who do for ek? What is your occupation? Okay, say for example, you studied um, business administration. You can say, so Hennes Ik a forest economy. Then the next question is, Vahadu Abetat mid it dit hemland ela e et anet land. That's what have you worked in your home country? And then you can say, on Abetat some administration assistant. She's been working as an administrative assistant. How do appetite in Sveria is have you worked in Sweden? Then, that her do habitat made her. It's what have you been working on? So you can see, on her in net appetat in Sveria. I've not been doing anything in Sveria. If we were there for eight hours studying Swedish language. After the first four hours, I mean, gonna, I would not understand anything the teacher is saying. So it's good that in Sweden, they balance that work-life balance where we started 8 o'clock, we went for our break, 9.45 to 10.15, and then we came back. So basically, we were only there for maybe like three hours to learn all this, which is more than enough. That's why I say to you guys, when I come home, as soon as I give you guys my vlog of the day, what I've learned um, from my SFI, then I will just switch off. If not, it's going to be overwhelming. So each to their own. Some people may go home and carry on studying. So basically, we were told to present and talk about the person next to us. So we got to know each other. We had to write it in Swedish, but I am so grateful to google translate you just need to be prepared you need to try your best and watch lots of youtube channels like my channel <laughs> so maybe very soon i'll be able to present my vlog in swedish language so yeah so that's it for today's video guys on my first day 
attending Swedish for Immigrants in Sweden and I hope this video has been very helpful. Are you looking to move to Sweden? Are you nervous about SFI? And if there are any questions you want to ask me, then leave a comment and I'll be sure to reply to you guys. So I'll be sharing more from my life in Sweden and I hope to see you guys on the next video. If you find new value to my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free to subscribe and you can follow me on Facebook instagram 